Hey, we should be on the hey YouTubers. This okay, is brother. Guardian Mike. I've got Red and uh, Scott here with us. And this is the founder of Tent City. Tell me a little bit about the history of the founding of Tent City. I opened it up 11 years ago. I think you already got it on video. Well, I got but, uh, some of it, but not the detail. I, what? What? You were the first one and the only one there. Yeah. Then I started taking homeless veterans. It's most. Then I start taking people like Scott. Scotty, Scotty, get in there closer so I can get the two of you there. I, I, I met him. I met him. I met him to uh, Brian at McKinley yeah. School across but, uh, from Ted. I, I, they killed somebody that was homeless at McKinley School a few years ago, didn't they? Kicked him. Yeah. No, somebody, some, some lady just ran a black so, dude over that side. Right, sorry, Red. Go ahead. I interrupted you. They and they killed my buddy Gary. I'm sorry to hear that. Gary Nagy. And they just ran a buddy over that Friday. And that was at like, McKinley? Yeah. And he was just sleeping? Yes. And they beat him up? Beat the hell out of him. And what happened to him? Killed he, him? Every bone in his body was broke. And that's why the city, Tent City, is important because you would bring people like Scott in so they don't sleep. Yeah. And it provides security. You didn't sleep behind no damn dumpster. Yeah. I just sleep if behind. I, I give up my tent. For people like this, I sleep. I usually sleep behind Mike's house. I know. Yeah, but you sleep with Red here too. Do you feel secure here with Red? Yeah. Yeah. Red is always a safe haven, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'd do anything for anybody. I know that, Red. You have that reputation. Why did you choose the place for Tent City? What? How'd you find that? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> well, the very first one there behind McDonald's. You got to get closer to getting the view camera. Uh, no, he's talking about the one right, right behind. Uh, you know, down I, I, had, I had one on the other side, too. And uh, they made a tree farm out of it. Okay. And then I had, to, I had to move over on the other side of the fence. Then I started taking in homeless veterans, homeless people, even if I didn't have a tent. I find tarps and build them one. Mm -hmm. You'd find a safe and secure spot. Yes. You could do that because you've had the skills in the woods. For yeah, the last 13 years. Yeah. <laughs> what do you look for for safety and security when you're looking for a, a spot to bring in the homeless? Where nobody can see me. I couldn't hear you. Well, give me one. Where nobody can see me. And that's the first thing. Yes. Out and, of sight, and, out of and, mind. Close, and close to a store. Close to a store. Yeah. Because we got to eat. And McDonald's is right down the road. Can we use the bathroom? You can use the bathroom, kind of wash up, and use go potty or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Exactly. It's just like Kroger's. I go in there, and that, that's where I wash up at. Yep. And uh, but out there, Tent City, it was cool. I had 14 tents. There was 14 tents out there at one time. And everybody got along. Everybody got along. So you what? remember that Scott Tent City? I, no, I, he's I, never I, been I, there. No, I know. He's been never, there. I, just he, met, I just met these guys who Brian. Right? He's never been out there. Okay. And uh, it was cool. I loved it out there. That was the first one. First and second. First and second Tent City. Yep. How long were you at Tent City 1 and 2 all together? Three, four uh, uh, years? Uh, but three years on the first one and seven on the second one. For yeah. Burton Police kicked us out. Burton kicked you out of there? Yeah. Yeah. Three or four on the first one, seven on the second one. Yep. About 12 all together then. Yeah, it's somewhere yeah. around there. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's uh, fade to black here and then we'll pick it up on the origins of this. Uh, okay. Thank you for talking to us.